Captain Hoff here with Founder Space, and today I'm going to talk about mentors. So we all love mentors. They are fantastic for startup founders. They help entrepreneurs get to the next level, sharing their wisdom and experience and giving insights. So what should you look for in a really good mentor? These are the qualities I like. I like professionals who have deep experience in a domain that is very valuable to you. For example, marketing. Now, if it's a marketing professional, you want someone who actually will impart to you kind of their gems, what, what they really understand well that other people don't, what you can't get online. And the other thing that mentors offer that you can't get just reading a website is they'll look at your business in particular and go deep on it, giving you guidance on, on strategies and tactics that you should take to improve your business. Now, great mentors are ones who ask a lot of questions, who dig deep into your business. It, you don't need just a cheerleader. It's great to have somebody say, yeah, you're doing great, keep going. That's wonderful. And mentors who have that energy are valuable in their own right. But really, what you want is somebody who thinks about your business from a different perspective than you do and will challenge you on assumptions you have. So if you're approaching the business in one way and they're saying, no, 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 think about this. What about this? In my experience, I've seen this and that work much better than what you're trying. That type of mentor is extremely valuable to you. Now, what you want is not all the same type of mentors. Like you want mentors from diverse backgrounds, from very different backgrounds, because that way you'll get very different perspectives and points of view on what you're doing. And that will lead to insights where you can actually take a leap forward in your business. Now, why do mentors mentor? It's really important to understand what your mentor's objectives are. Some mentors mentor just because they're passionate about engaging with entrepreneurs. They just love it. It's something that they feed off of and, and they, they don't expect any compensation. They just do it because they want to do it. Those are the types of mentors we love to attract at Founder Space. They tend to be the best and most engaged mentors. But there are also very good mentors who have multiple motives. They are not only enthusiastic about startups, but they also have a business. They might be a PR professional. They might be a lawyer. And eventually, by giving you free advice and free help, they would form a bond with you, and you may, in the future, do business with them. We think that is perfectly fine. In fact, it's a great way to get to know somebody before you make the decision of, of actually joining them, to actually have the chance to work with them. So if a lawyer, and lawyers in Silicon Valley cost a huge amount of money, money, wants to mentor you, give you advice, and you get to know them and work with them and see how their mind works and see whether you click and whether they add real value, that's good for you and potentially good for the lawyer. Other mentors are retired and they just want to give back. So they, they have extra time, and, and they, they want to uh, help you out. There are other mentors out there who are actually between jobs. They're professionals, they're really good, they're exploring opportunities, and they think, wouldn't it be co cool to engage with some startups? Who knows, I may end up working for one of them. That happens quite often. There are other mentors who are actually in it because they hope that you will hire them on as an advisor and they can get some equity in your company. So they are looking for great startups that they want to invest more time in and they're willing to do that for trading equity. Initially, they'll mentor for free, but if you want a lot of their time, you know, they want to become an advisor. So there are all these different uh, mentors with different motives and you have to understand where the mentors you're working with, what their psychology is and how they're approaching you. What we don't like and what I don't like is mentors that want to sell you something. So their whole objective is to just sell you something. That is wrong. <laughs> you, you, then, then the advice they give you isn't really advice. It's sort of a, a sales pitch. And that doesn't work. So avoid those type of mentors. We try never to bring those mentors in. If we get feedback that the mentor is doing that, we uh, ask the mentor not to mentor anymore because it just doesn't work for startup founders. I'll tell you why I uh, 
like to mentor and engage with startups. The number one thing that makes me, that kind of drives me is when I can think deeply about their business, I actually, I actually question the founder a lot, but I learn a lot from the founder. So it's a two-way exchange. So I am, I am learning as much as I am mentoring and teaching because founders also have a very unique perspective and they're in businesses that I might not know as much about and, and often don't. So I'll learn the intricacies of their business and share with them what I am seeing across all these different startups and things that they have tried. And when we can enter a dialogue where we go really deep and, and often we make a breakthrough, a substantial breakthrough in their business, then I get excited because that's like the reward. The reward is when we can actually like push their business to the next level and come up with something that is really what they should be doing right now. So good luck. Uh, if you have any questions about mentors, Founder Space, we have over 300 mentors working with us now. Take care.